Last month, my $7,000 in savings for a house down payment earned $24 in interest, but my viewer who had $9,000 only earned a few pennies. How did I earn almost $1,000 last year in interest just from having my money in the right types of accounts? Today, we're gonna to be talking about high yield savings accounts and why you need to be keeping your money in one. First, let's talk about what a high yield savings account actually is and why it matters. A high yield savings account is a type of savings account where there is a variable interest rate that's typically really a lot higher than what traditional savings accounts offer. So if you're using a traditional bank like Chase, you're probably earning 0.01% on your traditional savings account. Whereas my money has been earning over 4% interest just by sitting in a different type of savings account. This is incredibly important if you're saving for a bigger goal and you want your money to actually work for you while you're working on those big goals. High yield savings accounts are perfect for when you're saving up for something like a down payment, for a car down payment, for a vacation, for any type of sinking fund where you're gonna be using money in the future, but you have to put it aside to build up that savings. It's incredibly important to have an emergency fund in your life, so if something goes wrong, like you lose your job, you have money set aside to cover your expenses. I always recommend a high yield savings account for this, but also for those midterm goals, like saving up for a house or a car or for a big vacation. One great thing I like about high yield savings accounts is that the interest is paid monthly. So I am getting money paid into my account every single month. Then that money is added to the total and that whole amount earns more interest. So the compounding effect is really nice. And when you're earning 10 times what a traditional bank is paying you, that can add up quickly. That's how I earned almost $1,000 last year. And that's how you can start to earn hundreds of dollars or even thousands of dollars per year just by having your money in a high yield savings account. The important thing to note about high yield savings accounts is that they are variable rates. So these rates can go up or down based on economic factors. It's important to know that the interest rates on high yield savings accounts will change. They are variable rates. So that means that they will go up and down based on economic factors. When interest rates increase, that means money is more expensive to borrow when you take out a loan or a mortgage, but it also means that banks are going to pay more on these types of accounts. That is great for you if you're saving money, but just know that it can go down again as well. Right now, at the time of this video, rates are between like 4.25 and 5% on these types of high yield savings accounts, but four months ago, they were just around 4%, so they were a little bit less. And that is because we've had a couple of rate increases, so that is something to note. Just be aware that your rate will go up and down over time because these are variable accounts. But these rates will almost always be five to 10 times more than traditional bank accounts, so you're gonna be earning a lot more on your money if you're using a high yield savings account. That's right, your loyalty to a bank like Chase Bank is not going to pay off. Unfortunately, a lot of the traditional banks offer savings accounts where you're not earning much money. You're only earning 0.01, 0.15, percent on your money, which is not anywhere close to what these other banks can offer if you're using a high yield savings account. And even worse, some of them charge monthly fees for access to those accounts. So let's get over the loyalty to banks because they're not rewarding you. Let's look at some of the best high yield savings accounts that you could open today. I'm going to share three that I personally use and have loved over time. And then also three that I have not used, but I've heard good reviews about, or they offer really great rates. So first is Ally, and Ally Bank is offering currently 4.25% APY. Ally is definitely one of my personal favorites. I've been using it for almost a year now, and I really enjoy Ally. I think it's a great savings account, and they offer high yield savings accounts with some extra bonus features that are really great to help you save money. Next up is Capital One, and they are offering currently 4.3% on their high yield savings accounts. There are also no fees, no minimum balances or anything like that. So it's really easy to use Capital One as well. They also offer the option to create multiple accounts. So if you're saving for different goals, you can create multiple accounts within your one account. This is a fantastic option if you're saving for a couple different big goals or you just like to segment your money. I've been using Capital One for a long time. It's actually my longest standing bank account and I personally have been really, really happy with Capital One. Had no complaints at all, especially with their high yield savings accounts because I know my money is working for me there. They also have really useful app. There's a lot of great features in there and you can open multiple savings accounts inside of your one account. So I highly recommend Capital One as well. 
Next up is SoFi. I have recently joined SoFi personally, and I think they are a great option for high yield savings accounts. They have great technology and they are also offering 4.5% interest, which is higher than the first two on this list. That is amazing. They are also offering a $250 bonus for new accounts that set up direct deposit. That's another great, fantastic option because the next couple are the accounts that offer bonuses. The first two don't do it as often. So if you're looking for a bonus for a new account, SoFi is a good option. I also have a link down below that if you use my link, you will get $25 if you open a new account and put in 100. So that's a great option as well if you wanna stack up some bonuses and get that really good interest rate on your savings. Next up is Discover. I have not personally used Discover. They are traditionally a credit card company, but they also have a high yield savings account option with a 4.30% APY currently. With Discover, you don't have to have a minimum account balance to get that 4.3% APY, which is fantastic. And they also sometimes offer account bonuses. I didn't see one currently, but it's always worth checking to see if they are currently offering a bonus because that is something that they sometimes offer, as does the next bank on our list. And the next high yield savings account option is with American Express. Again, another credit card company, but I actually had a recommendation from this in previous videos from a commenter who uses American Express high yield savings account. I checked it out and it looks great. They currently offer 4.25% APY on their high yield savings account, which is similar to Ally earlier in the video. But if you're already an American Express customer or if you love their credit cards, it might be a good option to just open one here so you have everything in one ecosystem. That can be really useful for some people, so that's always an option. They also do bonuses as well, so definitely check out their website to see if they have any bonus options currently or in the future when you're opening a savings account. Like I said, I haven't used them personally, but everyone I know that has an Amex card has always sung their praises and been a huge fan of the customer experience there. So I definitely feel comfortable saying that this is a good option for a high yield savings account as well. Just be careful with that one and Discover because obviously they're gonna be offering you different credit cards and potential debt vehicles. So you wanna make sure that you're not jumping into debt just because you're getting all these offers while you have a savings account at a place. So the final option is one that I've seen recommended, but I don't have personal experience with, but it has one of the highest APY options that I've seen anywhere, and that is Citbank, CIT Bank, and they are leading the list with a whopping 5.05% APY on account balances with $5,000. So you have to have a minimum account balance of $5,000 to get that 5% interest rate. The minimum deposit there is $100, but if you have more, if you have $5,000 and you want that bigger interest rate, you want your money working for you a little bit higher than the others, that is a potentially good option. One key point about all of these different bank accounts is that they are all FDIC insured. So that means that the Federal Depositor Insurance Corporation is insuring all of these accounts up to $250,000 per depositor. So if you're putting up to $250,000 into one of these high yield savings accounts, you can be comfortable and rest assured that if your money disappears because the bank goes under, you will get that back because of FDIC insurance. And that honestly, that peace of mind is one reason why you might wanna use a high yield savings account over having like a brokerage with stocks or bonds or annuities, something like that where you're not insured on any losses. So that is just something to keep in mind. These are FDIC insured banks, and also they are offering a higher rate than a traditional savings account. So how do you choose one of these bank accounts? How do you choose a high yield savings account? Honestly, it doesn't matter. Most of them are within the range of each other where it doesn't matter as much and chasing rates is just going to be a waste of time. So take a few minutes, don't spend more than five to 10 minutes on this, Look at the different options, look at the different interest rates. Maybe you pick one that you already have a relationship with. Maybe you pick one that's offering a sign-up bonus so you get a little bit of a bump in the beginning. Or if you have a decent chunk of money, pick the one with the highest interest rate. It doesn't matter, just pick one that fits your current situation. Most of them are pretty similar experiences and there's plenty of them that aren't on this list. This is just some of the ones that I found that I really like and would recommend to others. But just keep in mind that it doesn't really matter which one you pick. All you need to know is that it's a high yield savings account where you're gonna earn four to 5% currently on your savings versus the 0.01% a traditional savings account will offer. Just make sure that you're using a high yield savings account versus a traditional savings account because you want your money to work for you. 
If you're not sure which one to choose, hop over to this video where I review one of these accounts and tell you why it might be the right choice for you.